Florida lawmakers wrapping up session this week have failed again. A now 15-year-old boy who lived a life of horrific abuse due to state negligence. You likely recognize the name, Victor Barahona. The state agreed to compensate him $5 million, an amount that needs lawmakers to lift a legal cap for most of that payment. For a second year now, they did not. Valentine's Day five years ago, the discovery of twins awash in chemicals in their father's truck, Victor, convulsing. His sister Nubia was dead. That led to the backstory of their lifelong nightmare. They were four when the Department of Children and Families allowed George and Carmen Barahona to foster them and then adopt them. And over the course of six years, the twins endured physical and mental abuse, some described as torture, that went all but ignored by DCF. And the department time and time again ignored phone calls from concerned um, neighbors, concerned neighbors that heard the screams of the children from the beatings, concerned teachers. During that state committee process, lawmakers learned about significant red flags, all by ignored by the state social workers who could have saved the twins. DCF's then secretary fully admitted the failures. So why won't the state release the money meant to compensate Victor, if that's even possible? His and others' claims bills are held up in the House over concerns of the lawyers' fees involved, a significant amount, as lawyers' fees can be. But arguably, without legal pressing, those harmed by the state would likely be all but ignored again. So that process may need changing, but that is not a reason for the state to turn its back again on a boy who's suffering it helped cause.